This is Island Hopper TV Hotels coming to you from the Conrad. Now this is where you'll normally check in, but they've got a little bit of a renovation going on. But let me just show you the view from up here. You can see. And then if you look right down there, you've got great views and we'll show you around this property. But like I said, they've got the renovation. This is normally where you'll check in. So let's do this. All right, so we're here at the actual check-in counter now. So lots of renovations going on here to make this place even more amazing than it already is. But I mean, at the end of the day, this is where you check in. You got a bar here in case you need a little refreshment. The big, the big thing that makes this place spectacular is these uh, views. You could call them million dollar views. And you get to stay here for a night. <laughs> Maybe billion dollar views here with all this inflation, right? Let's take a look around the property here after we check in. I'll give you a couple drinks. Okay, so from the check-in counter here, don't mind the noise, they're doing some uh, work, as you can tell. But uh, I'm going to take you down here where they have the fitness center. fitness center, you have Zest Thai food, have another restaurant here, I say see inside and then open air obviously, going to have some fans. Now you can also go out to Pig Island on a tour if you wanted. They take you out there. Also, they have jet ski riding, take you out to those islands if you wanted to. It'd take it about an hour, but that would be up to you. It depends on how flat or not the water is. That's up to you where you want to go with that. Probably couldn't do it in a half hour, but you can see they've got some nice villas over here. All right, and here's a look at the gym. It's hard to imagine they've got such a beautiful facility here on the cliffs of Koh Samui, but very nice. Lots of machines, free weights, curl, here we go. So we're going down to the bar here, and they've got a pool and all that. place okay but if you're just lying down here then it's okay yeah i think it's okay i think the villa will be ready in not, not more than half an hour yeah. half an hour that's good what kind of restaurant is this uh we have international food international yeah. food ah yeah. somebody cup do you have a menu please yes empanadas asparagus And here is a look at the breakfast. You can see fresh coconut. Got eggs. Some fresh deli meat. What do we got here? Dim sum. Chicken oyster. Ooh, Ooh saute. Hello, how are you? Chicken wings. Is this egg soup? Egg noodle? Yeah. I'll take one egg noodle. Thank you. Croissant. And what else do we got here? Some waffles. Pancakes. I decided to go with a breakfast that kind of looks like a lunch. Cheese, watermelon, papaya, some chicken, saute, and soup. Very good. Oh, watermelon soup, or watermelon juice and yogurt. And your views, looking outside.
All right, so we're gonna actually go down here to the beach, see what it looks like down here. You can see they've got seating, day beds, Got a little hammock here. And here we got the coconut weather forecasting. It says this signage and coconut gone means tsunami came. Can't see coconut? Foggy. White on top? Snowing. Coconut wet? Raining. Coconut dry? Not raining. <laughs> I don't think they would get a tsunami here. Nice. Yeah. Secret. That's a bar. So now we're checking out the beach here. So you've got some kayaks. Hello, Cap. Just looking. Only looking. Thank you. Some volleyball. Supposedly they have jet skis here as well. I always see like little ripples in the water. I don't know if it's rocks or if it's something else. Probably just rocks. Wow, look at that. Beautiful up there, huh? Conrad. swing just want to look over here and see what's up top beautiful bird singing over here looks like they've got some festivity stuff over here like a chapel for getting married <laughs> seating for maybe I don't know, 30 or 40 people. I want to see what's out here at this pier here. So, so far on this island of Koh Samui, I've reviewed the Sheraton, the Hyatt Regency, the Renaissance by Marriott and the Conrad. I really want to do the W. I was looking at the Ritz Carlton, but these are some very expensive hotels. I was also looking at the Kimpton. Never stayed at a Kimpton before. So they have this track here for the buggy, I guess. It's easier to walk on the uh, sand here. 
But either way, just wanted to show you this pier. Because I'm assuming people walk out here so they can swim. That's what it looks like, or a snorkel, so that's convenient. But uh, we'll go out onto that little pier there. Are there monkeys in there? I don't think the island has monkeys. But yeah, we're going out onto this pier where they have that little steps at the end. Here in Samui, it can get hot really quickly. Be surprised. Okay, so here's the pier, which appears to be at the edge of the Conrad's property. Oh wow, lots of fish. I don't know if you guys can see all the fish down there. But yeah, you would basically walk out to the end here. And there you'd have it. Oh, they are building more. Look at they're building more. You can see. Looks like they were building them and then they stopped. That'd be a nice little unit to have, but you can see they're all built on stilts. Very cool. Yeah, these all over here look like they're under construction and they stopped. I don't know. Or are those open? Maybe they're actually open. So many rooms here. All right. So here's a look at the room. See, very nice. Here's the closet. Pillows, safe, AC. Got towels and toilet. Shower, very nice. Show you the room over here. We've got two umbrellas in case you wanted to walk. Here's a great look at the room. Nice desk over there. And here's a look at the infinity pool. Very nice. Wow, sunset's gonna be beautiful here. I'll try and get a shot of that if I can. But yeah, you got a nice area there.